J.P. Henry, for the first time, his mom came into the gallery. Um, we were having a new exhibit. It was called Anything Goes. And she inquired if he would be able to enter the show. And I said, oh, of course, we love new artists. Took this stuff through around the street. This is the cornfield beside the street. This is probably the center side street for where I took it. As I was talking to his mom and JP, I realized that I had been following JP on Facebook for over a year. I had started following him. I think sometime during the pandemic and um, he, his photographs were so breathtaking and I never realized that this was the same artist that I was talking to until after t they came in. It's just like another business, a crab thing. And you know it, because you see the water is not very high here and shaking that it's calmly cold. It's reflection quiet that you're seeing it. Because this was in the winter when I took it. JP is incredibly amazing when it comes to seeing what to take the picture of. I have only encountered that in a few other artists in my over 30 years of working with artists. My first impression was, this human is producing these photographs. I've got to know more about him. J.P. Henry's strengths and abilities are somewhere between the front of his eye and the back of his brain. That young man, and as an artist, I don't have it. He has it. He has an ability to perceive what's really there. He will look at the details of a fishnet. He will look at the details of a wave. The painting I did downstairs to replicate his vision of lightning. Who gets that? Who sees that? Who has the ability to shoot that with a cell phone camera? He has an innate ability to just spot that something a little bit different. And I think that's a lot to do with his challenges trying to close out the world, he goes smaller and smaller and he spots these things any other person would miss. JP is the first artist I've known with autism. I've had other experiences with autistic children, but they weren't as advanced as him. He's got an unusual maturity about him. It's just exciting to see what he sees, I mean, through his eyes and his lens.